of um, an Elm Street video game because uh, JT is reborn and I were talking about this and we were thinking that you know an Elm Street video game would be really cool because you know Saw has one but I think Elm mm -hmm. Street would be a really cool thing to explore for a video game well the only way I could actually see them work in it is if a number of individual students and then basically your choices and actions basically reflect in that game if those students make it through the game or if some of them die and move on the way to the end. What about you, Justin? Do you like the idea of a, um, an Elm Street video game, you know, based on Wes Craven's uh, character? I think if they do it well. I mean, I'm not a big video game uh, player, but I mean, if they do the video game really well. I like the idea, like, you could actually play, like, Freddy, and you could all also play, like, um, some of the Hey characters. guys, hold on real quick. My cat's trying to get in the door, and I have to let her <laughs> Okay. Like, you can go, like, each slasher story, like, you can have Freddy, you can have Pinhead, you can have Jason, you can yeah. have Michael Myers, you can have all these people together, and, like, like every slasher villain together, yeah. and you go through, you, you can be, like, like, the slashers themselves. You can be a slasher and take down other slashers. You can be a person who has to take down all the slashers, or you can like, just go look at the different stories. Like, like a video so game, possibilities. like a video game, just full of different slasher icons. Yes, that that would just be like that game would sell so much. Yeah, that would be cool. I would, I would like to see that. And, and then you could like fight horror icons too. Like you could have like online matches and stuff. Kind of like that Mortal Kombat. Awesome. Yeah, like Mortal Kombat, like a Mortal Kombat slasher game. Yeah. Everyone gets their own special buddies. You can even throw in, like, someone that no one even cares about. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if you actually saw the episode uh, on uh, South Park, uh, Ma Imagination Land, where, where they had all the horror icons fighting each other. There was, like, Pinhead against Freddy. It was awesome. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'm like, family guy in that. It's pretty yeah. in the Simpsons. So, now, what, I was wondering, Justin, like, personally, what do you want to see and if they make a uh, remake sequel to the first Elm Street, like, the remake? Oh, if they make a sequel to the, to the remake? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, gosh, I, I would like to see maybe, uh, possibly Nancy coming back. Mm -hmm. And uh, bringing in her father this time, because I, I noticed in the remake, you know, you didn't really have and bring in her father this time, because her mother's gone, you know, her mother died, yeah, and they could, they, they could bring in the father, because I mean, in the original Nightmare on Elm Street, you do have the mother and you also have the father, so yeah. possibly if they do a sequel, they could bring in the the father of Nancy and continue the story that way. Yeah, totally. And you know the, the I love I love the Elm Street remake, but the only thing I was disappointed about w when I got the Blu-ray was not seeing the deleted scenes because there were so many great deleted scenes. Like there's a scene where you know um, one of the characters gets thrown through the glass, you know, mm -hmm. and then there there's another scene that takes place in a church, and that was totally deleted from the movie. And mm -hmm. that you know the church scene was Samuel Bear's original idea for the ending. And that never got actually put into the movie. And I always wanted to see, to see that deleted scene. And I want to see that too. I, you know what I hope they do? Is you know how they have the UK release of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies right now? That mm -hmm. you own, right, Justin? Because you own the UK version? Yeah. Yeah, well... If they re-release it, like... Then Nancy again. I know, um... What's her name? Uh, Marie um, Mar. Yeah. Yeah, I know recently, like, uh, it was back in December, she basically just, she said she was not... She... She slammed she her, it. She just owned Nightmare. Yeah, yeah that's, she slammed That's the it. thing. I think she, <laughs> she basically took back... You know, she said... Oh, you know, circle with her 
saying that, like a little something like that. And yeah, she was just egotistical. She was being mm-hmm. egotistical because girl with dragon tattoo is coming out. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, if they do, since you know she's basically saying, well, yeah. you know, I kind of disown my on Elm Street. Um, yeah. I would rather somebody else play Nancy. Well, if, well, you know the whole thing about Rui Mara is like I seen like tons of interviews with her saying how much of a good experience she had on the movie set. And then I read this article, and it's like, she's bashing it. And then I'm like, where's the interview? Because are they taking her words out of context? Or maybe she just said something totally different, and they just construed it that way. I mean, I've never... Or, you know, one of those, like, late shows that she was on there talking about Girl with the Dragon Tattoo and said something about it. Yeah, well, that that's the thing, though, because, you know, sometimes, you know, you're on, like, uh, words out of context, basically. And, and the, the thing about it is, when I notice when they do an interview with her, though, for yeah. the, but they never say, Rudy Mara, <laughs> a social network and a nightmare on Elm Street. You know, I don't <laughs> know, I you know, she really doesn't seem to bring up the movie too much. That's the thing, so, you know, I, 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 that's a that's a hard topic. I mean, but from what the articles have said, she just says she doesn't really care about it. Well, I'll, really... I'll tell you something. If they do make a sequel to a Night Realm Street remake, bring back Jackie Earl Haley because he, it, he did a good job. interview with him saying that he wants to do the sequel. So, mm-hmm. I you know mean, what I'd do. I'd make it more like I mean, the horror thing's been done. I kind of make it more like of an action pack movie kind of because I mean we've seen it done like in like so many different ways you never see more like an action movie that's mm-hmm. what I kind of do make it change up the feel of the movie like make it a little bit more actiony make it like a big suspense kind of thriller yeah. it'd be something interesting make it and then like at the end of the movie you know how Marvel did the Avengers thing like they built up yeah. every movie kind of have like since Dunes has the rights to the Halloween franchise and yeah uh, Friday the 13th franchise kind of have like little Easter eggs towards like a new crossover. That film. that's what JT is reborn. We were talking about uh, Platinum Dunes owns the right to uh, Jason, Freddy, and Michael Myers. So we're thinking, you know, Freddy vs. Jason was such a fun movie. Have like one more movie for each of the characters and do a crossover at at, at the end of the movie, like the Avengers. That would be really cool. You know what I mean? Like. At the end of the movie, like after the credits, have like a little thing that connects all the characters and put them in one movie. That would be cool. Like, my do I mean? <laughs> yeah, I mean there has to. I think there yeah. has. If they're gonna, if they would want to do that, they yeah. really have to come up with a, a a good story for because I mean they're yeah. all from different elements. They all have yeah. Different, yeah. Different, different stories, different times. I I don't know. I mean that. Yeah. I, I, it's interesting, but that that would be yeah, it would really be hard. hard. But there's so many that. writers that are really dying to tackle these franchises, and the studios just sit on them, just like, oh yeah, we have it. You want no? They just do, do nothing with them. They just yeah. and then they'll wait like another 10, 15 years before they reboot it again. It's just like continue the story. I'd like to see some people like with a real challenge of making sequels just far superior instead of rebooting. Yeah, I I know what you mean, John, because. They, um, back in, um, 2006, now this is a whole different subject altogether, but back in 2006 when, um, Silent Hill came out, the movie was really successful and they were planning a sequel, you know, directly after that movie was, you know, really successful, but, you know, we didn't get a sequel until now, so. But, well, I mean, yeah. To be honest, like, I would, I would rather see... Just a, a Nightmare sequel, a Friday sequel, and a Halloween sequel. 